It's the greatest myth of all time, and Hercules is hitting the big screen today. Jim Ferguson sat down with Dwayne The Rock Johnson to get the inside scoop on this new movie. No matter how fast you run, no matter how far you go, the beast will follow. Man cannot escape his fate. Hercules. Dwayne Johnson stars as Hercules, the greatest myth of all time. Notorious for his larger-than-life exploits, but haunted by his past, he has become a wandering mercenary. Here's Dwayne The Rock Johnson or Hercules. And even though he's a mercenary, what audience is going to love about him is that he wants to be on the right side of good versus evil. He does. He does. You know what I mean? He's a mercenary, but... He's a mercenary. He's a hired sword. Yeah. And he has his companions around him, um, and but he does ultimately always want to do the right thing, and his heart is in the right place. Mm -hmm. And I think, by the way, it happens to all of us. All of us are always in that situation where we're, we come, we, we could either tip to this side or we could tip to that tip side. We like to side. think sometimes that, you know, we, we use our uh, our intelligence a, a little bit and do the right thing. And he's intelligent enough to realize, I'm not going to do this alone. He's got a pretty good team with him. I got to tell you, that was one of the <laughs> coolest things about the script, about the graphic novel is, because again, you know, the challenge is, there's been so many versions of Hercules in the past. How are we going to be different? How are we going to be better? How are we going to make something that's defining for our generation? And the idea was, which this is a notion I love, Jim, is that there's there's no greatness achieved by yourself. No one has success by themselves. In this case, the success of Hercules and the completion of the 12 labors and the fighting evil, it, it's all done with the people around it. We are too late. And we've walked into a trap. Surrender now. And we shall consider being merciful. Look at me. Do I look afraid? And you know what I loved? All those people, including Hercules, your character, of course, Balancing the fun humor lines with the action. That's right. That's that was the goal. Is what we wanted to do. We wanted to make sure that around every corner in the movie, you were smiling, or you were laughing. You were, yeah. Yeah, and that's one of those things. And I got to tell you, it's one of those things that that we respectfully yeah. steal from Spielberg. By and the way. I got to get this one in. Yes. I have a, I have a minute left, mm -hmm. and it's beautiful too. But he used his folklore. Mm -hmm. His popularity. That's right. Uh, to intimidate his enemies. You've known a few wrestlers mm -hmm. that have done the same thing. Sure, <laughs> sure. We all do that, by the way, when we when we can. If we can gain an edge over our enemy or over someone we're competing with, or over any time we can gain an edge, and that's what Hercules does. He utilizes his popularity. Utilizes, you know, he says he wants everybody to play it up because in this case he can have one up on his enemies. opinion, Wayne The Rock Johnson was born to play Hercules, and he'll agree with that. But it's true, he makes the perfect Hercules. This action-adventure paints Hercules as a human being with a sense of humor. In fact, the humorous dialogue is a strong part of the film. Hercules' ragtag team includes Ian McShane, Rufus Sewell, Ingrid Burdell, and Reese Ritchie. The sets, costumes, ancient weapons were all designed just for the film, and they're impressive, as are the battle scenes. Take revenge for your family. Save these people. And restore order to this world. Do we 
die in this battle. My time's not come yet. Not sure about yours. We will fight for you. And we will die for you. I'll make in yourself. Now tell me. Detroit of PG-13 my grade a very bloody B minus. Also opening today three comedy dramas and so it goes starring Michael Douglas and Diane Keaton. Wish I was here and sex tape starring Cameron Diaz and Jason Segel. I'm going to see you right here next Tuesday.